Hey everyone, if you clicked on this video, you probably know this is a product review on the Mono GS1 Betty Strap. Uh, the Mono, or the version I have here today, is uh, they come in two different sizes, a short and long version. This is the short one. Um, I'm not extremely small, but I, I guess I'm sort of on the smaller side, so I didn't need a long one. The short one fits me perfectly. So uh, if you're about my size, I would definitely suggest getting the short one. And uh, the color I got, and they also offer it in various colors, is uh, the ash version, and it's made of Duraweave, okay? So it's really, I, I, I love the look of it. I think it looks awesome. Um, all right, guys, so before I get into the, all the features of this strap and do a whole review of this thing, uh, I just want to say a few things. First off, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, Adam Stevens Bass, definitely click the subscribe button below, and uh, you'll stay up to date to all the awesome videos I do. I do a lot of videos, and they're really cool, so definitely check them out, alright? And uh, the second thing I want to say is that I'm not endorsed or affiliated with Mono uh, whatsoever. I chose to do this review because I think there's probably people out there like me who wanted to know a bit more about it. Because like, when I went to YouTube, I was surprised to see there wasn't really a whole lot of in-depth reviews on the actual strap. Alright, so let's get into uh, a bit more of the specifics. So. Uh, but just look on the back of the tag here. I can't memorize everything, guys. But basically, uh, the one main thing, because I'm a bass player, and why bass players are going to love this strap, and why I definitely recommend it to all bass players, is it's made of memory foam and it has neoprene on the bottom. Okay, and so that and with co in combination with the width of it. It's a tiny bit stretchy. It's not like super stretchy, but it's a bit. It really lightens the load when you have this on your back here and a heavy, heavy bass is on. Some basses weigh more than like 10 pounds now, right? So uh, it really lightens the load. It takes some pressure off of your, uh, off of your back and off of your shoulder, and, uh, and it basically makes it easier to practice and to play for a long time. And that's, uh, that's ultimately what I look for in a, in a really good strap. Um, the next thing I wanted to touch on was uh, all the steel riveting and basically the construction of the strap, especially both of the ends. Uh, it's extremely well made. I'm not sure of the, the material. Uh, does it say the material in the back? Uh, industrial rubber end panels withstand a life of abuse. So yeah, like just honestly by feeling them, like it, this thing's solid, man. This is really well built stuff. Um, the adjustable strap here at the end is super smooth. You just adjust it like this to make it longer, and you just gently pull back on it to make it shorter, okay? We've got a little S right here because, like I said before, I have the short version of the strap, not the long one. Um, and yeah, I just like, I, I, I really trust this strap. It, it seems extremely well made. Um, the other thing it says on the back here, it is 100% animal free if you're into that, if you're vegetarian or vegan and you care about <laughs> the earth and the animals. Uh, I do. So that's cool for me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to throw this on uh, my base now and I'll show you guys just how it kind of sits and, and balances. I also just realized, I figured I should add this in while I'm uh, putting the strap on the base, is uh, on the back here, it's got a really, really cool pickpocket sewed into the, uh, the back of the strap right there, so you can kind of, I'll show it up close, uh, you can throw some picks in there, that's really cool, I dig that a lot. Alright guys, so uh, I'm just going to put the strap here on my beautiful Fender Jazz base, throw that end on, pop this end on this base, on this peg. Super easy to do, I love the strap. And boom, voila. You can see if I stand up and I kind of just push the weight down a bit, you can see it stretches. And that's part of the reason why the strap is so comfortable because if you're playing for a while and you're kind of jumping up and down, like I said before, it's not very stiff, it's actually very nice and it kind of massages your, your back and shoulder. So, so yeah, I think this is a really, really sturdy, solid, Rugged strap, really well made. I know it's a bit on the expensive side, but I would say it's definitely worth it. Um, I do have another video I'm about to make on the Comfort strap. It's the other base strap uh, I own. This is the newer version. Um, so definitely look out for that product review if you guys are in the market for straps and you're about to buy one. And then I'm going to do a compare of this Mono strap and the Comfort strap uh, together in a different video uh, just to talk about some of the pros and cons of both of them. Alright guys, so if you have any questions at all about this video, as always, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below and I'll, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.